Setting out procedures. Step 1. Site clearance. Site clearance involves clearing a site of machines and dangerous materials as well as leveling and preparing the ground for any upcoming building or landscaping projects. Proper site clearance is necessary to ensure the safety of all workers and anybody else who may be present on the property. Step 2. Position the building. The approximate location and orientation of the building should be determined by measuring the required setback as shown on the site plan drawing. The site plan is typically included in a set of architectural drawings. Step 3. Establish Base Point. Choose one of the building's corners you want to start with. Drive a peg, wooden or steel, into the ground at the angle or corner you've decided to use as your base point. Let's name this point A. If you're using a wooden peg, drive a nail on top of it. When using steel pegs, there is no need for nails. Step 4. Set out the right angle of the building. Tie a building line on the steel peg or nail on the wooden peg and move along the baseline of the building making a straight line. Measure 3 meters from point A along the straight line. Let's call this point B. Then measure another 4 meters away from the first point, point A, forming a right angle. Let's call this point C. Use the measuring tape to confirm that the distance between point B and C is 5 meters. Note that the straight line from point A to B remains the same. You only shift the other line point A to C, to form the right angle. Step 5. Establish the four corners of the building. Similarly, using 3-4-5 method, establish all the four corners and perimeter of the building. Now that the four corners of the building has been established, the next thing to do is to set up the profile boards. Step 6. Establish the profile boards. These should be about 1,200 mm, 2 feet, away from the already established four corners and perimeter of the building. Step 7. Nail points of excavation on the profiles. Nail and mark out spots on the battens for foundation trench excavation. The opposing side should be done in the same way. Tie the building line to the opposing sides of the profile boards and mark the excavation areas on the ground according to the structural drawings. Then excavate the foundation trenches, making sure everything is level. When the foundation trench excavation is complete, the next step is to remove the line and nail another point to set points for column pit excavation. If you're using out to out, make sure you use it all the way through, and if you're using in to in, make sure you use it all the way through. Your column placement will be where your lines intersect. <laughs>